Senator Lila de Lima's former security aide testifies at the House probe into the illegal drug trade at the new Belibid prison Thursday. Philippine Air Force Sergeant Jonel Sanchez said he witnessed how then-Secretary de Lima was really close to her former driver and bodyguard Ronnie Dayan. Napansin ko lang na di pangkaraniwang pagkamalapit ni Ronnie Dayan at napansin ko lang ni SOG de Lima at kal- kalaunan na kumpirma ko na may relasyon ang dalawa dahil si Ronnie Dayan ay sa bahay ni SOG natutulog. Maging sa mga out of towns na lakad namin silang dalawa ay magkasama sa isang kwarto. Madalas din kaming pumupunta sa bahay ni SOG de Lima sa Bicol at kapansin-pansin ang sweetness nila. Habang kami ay bumabiyay papuntang probinsya, sila po ay nagsusubuan ng nilagang saging ng saba. Sa tuwing kami ay mag-grocery, binibila ni SOG de Lima si Ronnie Dayan ng paborito niyang pondador at malboro. Binibilan din ni SOG de Lima si Ronnie Dayan ng barong, sapatos at mga personal na gamit hanggang tahasan ng pinagyayabang ni Ronnie Dayan ang relasyon nila ni Secretary de Lima. Sanchez claims he personally saw the sex video of de Lima and Dayan on the driver bodyguard's cell phone. Habang kami po ay nakapark, ako ay tinawag ni Bantam, driver ni SOG de Lima. Habang hawak-hawak niya ang cell phone ni Ronnie Dayan na naiwan sa loob ng sasakyan, Nagulat po ako nang ipinakita ni Bantam sa akin ang video ni SOJ de Lima at Roni na may dalawang sex video. Ang isa ang video ay naka, nagpupusing si SOJ malapit sa shower room na hubad-hubad. At ang isa namang video ay nag-BBJ si SOJ. Lima kay Ronnie Dayan. Justice Secretary Vitaliano Aguirre says Sanchez will be able to prove the Lima's true relationship with her former driver and bodyguard Ronnie Dayan. President Rodrigo Duterte accuses the Lima of having an affair with Dayan. Dayan allegedly acted as her bagman in the NBP drug trade. Aguirre in an interview Tuesday said they will not show the video at the House hearing. He said we are not in possession of any video. House Speaker Pantaleon Alvarez earlier said he had no problem with showing the alleged sex video in a House probe. Various groups and lawmakers protested the showing of the alleged video, calling it illegal and misogynistic. The National Democratic Front appoints alleged New People's Army leader Benito Chamson to its negotiating panel. Chamson was temporarily released from prison in July to serve as consultant for the NDF in its peace talks with the Philippine government. The NDF panel's longtime chairperson, Luis Halandoni, also resigned and will be replaced by Fidel Agkawili. Halandoni will serve as senior advisor to the NDF panel. The NDF says Halandoni has long requested to be relieved as chairperson of the panel. The changes in the NDF panel comes on the eve of the second round of peace talks in Oslo, Norway. Portugal's former Prime Minister Antonio Guterres is poised to replace Ban Ki-moon as the next Secretary General of the United Nations. Guterres wins the backing of 13 of the 15 UN Security Council members, while none of the five veto-holding powers blocks his candidacy. The Council will formally vote to confirm the choice of Guterres Thursday, October 6. Guterres will be the first former head of government to become UN Chief. He was also UN High Commissioner for Refugees for a decade. Thank mm-hmm. you.